Hello, welcome back to my channel with your girl Chrissy, and I am back again with another episode of Street Tea. So, y'all, today's episode of Street Tea, I'm gonna talk about Kiara Coles, the 27 year old mother who disappeared from Chicago. Those of y'all who are not familiar with her case, I am gonna be doing a brief little rundown before we get to the suspect. Well, who I believe is the suspect of the disappearance of 27 year old Kiara Coles. All right, y'all, so three years ago, a 26-year-old postal worker who was eagerly expecting her first child mysteriously disappeared in her own neighborhood. There's still no resolution, leaving her heartbroken mother desperate to know if her daughter is even alive or dead. One second, y'all. Kira Coles was about three months pregnant when she vanished on October 2nd, 2018 on Chicago's South Side. Her car was found in front of her apartment with her phone and picked lunch still inside. The Chicago Police Department considered the case a high-risk missing person investigation with potential foul play suspected. Phillips said police have not provided any information whenever she called over the last year. I can never reach nobody. They're going to be. Cole had a plan for her life, and so far everything was going according to her plan, her mother said. Cole first won a good job, and after the year with the post office, she had saved for a car and a home. Then she and her boyfriend decided they were ready for a baby, Philip said. For her to vanish out of the blue, she said, I can't understand it. The United States Postal Inspection Service and FBI are both working with the Chicago police on this case. Wow, y'all. So pretty much... She done got pregnant by her longtime boyfriend, whose name is Joshua Simmons, which we're going to get to in just a second. So Josh Simmons is a United States Postal Service staff. He's a longtime staff of the government-based Postal Service Agency. Aside from this, he's the also he is also the baby daddy of Kiara Coles. Kiara Coles has been missing since October 3rd, 2018, when she was three months pregnant. Hence, it is unknown whether she is alive or dead, whether she gave birth to the baby or not. Considering the completion of the three years of Kiara's disappearance, the case has again gained no tree as her whereabouts remains out of reach. Alright y'all, so this is Josh right here. Joshua Simmons, the alleged baby father of Kiara Coles. Y'all, Joshua had a lot of bullshit with him. If y'all have not watched my last video, well, not my last video, a video that I had completed, I believe, like a year or two ago, talking about Joshua and his wife. Because, yes, he is married. Joshua is also married to another woman named Kiara. Kiara Smith, I believe her name is. And Kiara Smith also worked at the post office along with Kiara Coles and Joshua Simmons. All right, y'all, this was written by somebody close to Kiara Coles. I'm just going to read it really quickly. Joshua Simmons, according to Kiara Cole's investigation, you remain a person of interest. We know you are clear days of now, and they say you are advised not to have communication with the family or anyone until the investigation is resolved. You really went in my gate as far as social media. We have nothing to go off, only the fact that you're in my gate off of social media. However, we know you are watching, and we would love to hear your side of the story still. The family felt you were innocent in the beginning. We only got the family action and words to go off. And the word is, you were there to help put the wick up. But then I heard that was inaccurate. It was also said Kiara left with you the evening of October 2nd, 2018. Is any of this true? We know it's your right to obtain a lawyer. That doesn't make you guilty. We know that you are back and forth from Louisiana to Chicago. We know you are living a double life. And you were with Kiara Smith before Kiara Coles. We know you cut your hair. They say you took your rims off your truck and now you have switched vehicles. Can you answer a few questions to clear some of the stuff up if you are so innocent as you claim to be? The mother said you were innocent at one point. What happened? All right, y'all. So I'm going to give y'all my little thoughts and opinions on this whole case. Like I said, Kira Cole's been missing for about three years now. We still have no answer as to her whereabouts. We don't know if she's still alive. We don't know if she had the baby. We don't know nothing at this point, and I can only imagine how her parents feel and her family. Now, Joshua, 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 Joshua. I feel like the police should be looking at you as the number one prime suspect. Why? Because he's the only one, in my opinion, so far who has the number one motive to get rid of Kiara Coles. And not only her, her baby as well, her unborn child as well. See, 
like I read, Joshua was living a double life. He was going with Kiara Coles and also going back and forth with his wife, Kiara Simmons Smith. I'm sorry. Both of them was pregnant at the same time, Kiara Coles and Kiara Smith. And also, right after Kiara Coles went missing, Joshua and his wife, Kiara Smith, got up, packed all their shit, and moved away to a different city. Or state, I'm sorry. Joshua changed his car. Joshua cut his hair. For what? If you have anything to do with this case, why would you have to go as far as to changing your appearance, changing your car? That's suspect to me. And I really, really feel like police should take another look at him, question him and his wife to figure out what happened to Kiara Coles because she didn't just disappear off this earth. She didn't. Let's not forget on the day Kiara Coles went missing, somebody had actually called into the post office pretending to be Kiara Coles, stating that she would not be coming in because she was not feeling well. Well, according to Kiara Coles and family and friends, they all said the same thing. It's not that easy to call into the post office to call out. You have to actually call, put special numbers in or something. So if it was a special way to call into the post office for in order for the Kiara Coles to call out, think about it. Who else would know that? Who else? Well, I know who. Josh, who works there, and his wife, Kiara Smith, who works there. So, Josh, if you have any heart, speak up. Tell the family or the police what happened to Kiara Coles. Where she is and where's her unborn child. Also, woman to woman, Kiara Smith, as a woman, you should have a conscience and come forward and tell what happened to Kiara Coles and her unborn baby.